Hey, this is Peter and welcome to Smart Slider. Smart Slider is an all-in-one slider builder software which you can use to create beautiful sliders and blocks on your WordPress and Joomla site. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and publish your first slider. Every feature you can see in this video is available in the free version of Smart Slider. Let's get started. When you open Smart Slider, the first thing you'll see is the dashboard. Here you can find the sliders and blocks you have created. The global settings and other helpful options. The project creation starts in the dashboard with the huge green button. For a quick, nice looking design, you can start with a template. But for this video, I will start a new project from scratch. I would like to have a slider with multiple images. The width and height only find the size of the content, but the images can still be full width. So the default settings are perfect for my header slider. We can add the images to the slider using the Add Slide button on the Slider Settings page. In the Media Library, I can select more images at once. I have added the images I wanted, so I close the Add Slide panel. If you want to change the order of the slides, simply drag and drop them to the right places. Open the slide menu where you can find handy actions related to the slides, such as duplicate, unpublish, or delete. That's all, my basic image slider is ready to get published. You can easily insert your beautiful slider to a post or page. Smart Slider supports the most popular page builders like Gothenburg, Elementor, Divi, and much more. To publish a slider with Gothenburg, add the block to your page and pick Smart Slider 3. Select the slider you want to show and press Insert. In case you only need a simple image slider, you are done. Take a look at the page. You can switch slides with arrows or by swiping the screen. Let's see the options we can use to improve this slider. Now I will show you some of the most popular settings of the slider. On the General tab you can find settings like the name of the slider. A good name can help you find your slider easily in the dashboard. Switch to the Size tab to find the size-related settings, such as the breakpoint or layout. At the Control tab you can find the features which you can use to switch slides, for example the arrows, thumbnails or bullets. Every control is highly customizable. For example, you can change the colors to match your design. Open the Style Manager to start the customization. As an example, I will show you how to change the color of the bullets. The Normal or Active state can be selected on the top right. The Hover state often uses the Active style. Once the changes are done, press Apply. We can move on to the next section, which is the Animations. This is where you can set how the slide transition looks. The autoplay is a timer which moves the slides automatically with the given interval. With the preview you can always take a look at how your slider looks, even if you haven't saved your settings yet. Everything looks like I wanted it, so I have finished setting up my slider. I will save it and show you the slide editing. To edit a slide, just click on the Edit button. This slide has a background image, what I would like to modify a little bit. Adding a background color and lowering the opacity of the image makes the background darker. You will learn why that's important soon. In Smart Slider, you can create content by adding layers. Click the green Add button to see all available layers. Each layer is suitable for a specific type of content. For example, you can create headings using the heading layer or add the nice call to action button with the button layer. Let's add the heading layer with a simple drag. This is the layer window where you can configure the layer. At the content tab you can find basic options like what text this heading should display. Now add the text layer from the shortcuts. You can use paddings to create minimum distance from the sides. It's useful to prevent the layers from overlapping the arrows. You should also set a button padding, even if you don't see any issues with the bullets right now. Let's see how to change the look of the layers. 
The customization options are available at the Style tab of the Layer window. For example, I can change the size of the font. My next layer is a button. Let's add the link to it. To create space between the layers, you can set the margin. When you add the layer, it will go below or above the previous one. To have them side by side, use row column structures. Drag the layers into the columns, and they will be next to each other. Setting a maximum width on the row brings the buttons closer to each other. The key of aligning is that it happens from the parent element. For example, if I want the layers to be on the bottom part of the slide, I click on the content layer and use the vertical alignment option. By changing the maximum width, you can make the content narrower. You can adjust the text align with the inner align option. To position the entire content to the left, use the position align setting. Besides the default positioning, what I just showed you, you can position the layers absolutely. To create such a layer, just switch the position to absolute in the add panel. An absolutely positioned layer can be placed anywhere on the slide. We recommend creating your main content using default layers and use absolute layers only for decoration. In the Style tab, you can always change the position to default. Now, I don't need this layer, so I will delete it. With the Device Selector, you can take a look at the slide on smaller views. The notice tells that this slide is too tall compared to the other slides. There are several ways to fix it. If there is a view where you would like to hide a layer, you can do that with this eye icon. I need this layer on my slide, so I'm going to show it again. When the text is too big for tablet or mobile view, use the font resizer. I don't need these big paddings on mobile, as the arrows and bullets are hidden here. The slide looks great now. You can use the Add Layer panel to load pre-made slide layouts from the library. The layouts are separated into categories, like Product, Team or Testimonial. Click on the desired layout to load it, but please note, it will override the slide. If you need a complete, ready-to-use slider for your site, instead of a single slide, you can browse our template library. Go back to the dashboard and press New Project. Click on Start with a template and choose from tons of great-looking sliders. The slider you just imported is fully made, and you can immediately use it on your site. Of course, you can change anything in the slider, like replacing the images or editing the text. This is everything you need to know to get started with Smart Slider. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. Feel free to post your questions and feedbacks in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!